Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In the previous video, we ran through how to fix harsh dark shadows with the shadows tool and the range selection tool. But what if we want more control over the brightening effect and or masking process? That brings us the next two tools in Affinity's arsenal, which are more advanced but may give better results. And that is the curves tool plus the luminosity range mask tool. And that's what we're going to be discussing in today's video. So as a reminder, what is the curves tool? The curves tool uses graph manipulation to more precisely adjust the lightness and contrast of a photo. In general, you drag the curve downwards to correct overexposure and drag the curve upwards to correct underexposure. For a more detailed explanation on how to use curves, do watch the video I made on that topic. So let's begin correcting the harsh shadows in this image. As you can see, using just the shadow tool by itself in the develop persona doesn't give great results. Both the sky and the sea is losing contrast and detail, degrading the quality of the image. So let's make a more pleasing adjustment with the Curves tool. Click Adjustments, choose Curves. Click on the left part of the diagonal line to add a handle. Drag on it upwards to brighten the image. The final curve should look like a reverse S. Notice that when fixing dark shadows, the curve slope is steeper than normal to properly brighten the darkest areas. While the Curves tool has done its job, it has not done so perfectly. The sky and other elements have been unintentionally affected. To fix this, let's add a mask to limit the adjustment's effect. In particular, we're going to use the Luminosity Range Live Mask. But first, let's remind ourselves of what the Luminosity Range Mask is. The Luminosity Range Mask is a tool that enables you to target different parts of the tonal range or different ranges of luminosity. It allows for enhancing specific parts of a photo without manual brushing. For a more detailed explanation, do watch my previous videos on the Luminosity Range Mask. So let's use the Luminosity Range Mask now. Click on Mask and choose Luminosity Range Mask. Select Preview to view the mask. Adjust the curve such that the areas to be targeted are primarily in white, while those that should be unaffected are primarily in black. To make for a smoother mask and a more natural looking result, slightly increase the blur radius. Next, drag the mask inside the curves adjustment layer. Unfortunately, despite our best efforts using the luminosity range mask, both the sky and the sea are still being included in the adjustment. No problem, I can improve the mask by editing it. Click on the luminosity range mask. Paint black on areas that should be excluded from the curve adjustment. So here is the original image, and here is the edited image. Finally, let's edit the image we used in our last video, wherein we used the Shadows tool to brighten the shadows. But this time, let's use the Curves tool and compare the results.
Here is the edited image with the shadows tool. And here is the edited image with the curves tool. Which one did you prefer? Let me know in the comments. So that is how you get rid of harsh dark shadows with curves and the luminosity range mask. As you can see with Affinity Photo, there is more than one way to skin a cat. That brings us so far to three ways to get rid of harsh dark shadows. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know which method you preferred using the shadows tool with range selection or the curves tool with the luminosity range mask. Or if you know of any other methods to do the same thing, get rid of harsh dark shadows, do share it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.